What's up you guys? Hey, thanks for watching this video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about what it's like to be in the operating room for the first time. So if you're like a, a college student or a medical student, you're looking forward to going into the operating room, I'll give you some tips on what you might experience, what not to do, what to do, especially what not to do, so you don't piss anybody off and you do good in your rotations. And if you wanna go into surgery, you can get a good um, letter of recommendation. So I wanna tell you guys a little story not my first time in the operating room, but one of my first times as a resident. So what happened was I kind of went out late the night before, if you know what I'm saying. So here's the deal. As a resident, you work a lot. And if you never just like bite the bullet and go out and have fun, um, then you'll never do it because you're always, it's like you're always on and you never have that time where you're like, oh yeah, this is a weekend. I'm gonna, you know, I got like two days, three days off and I'm gonna go blow it out, have fun and blah, blah, blah. So what I would do is just kind of bite the bullet, go out, stay out till two, three o'clock in the morning, wake up at five, get to work at six and you'd be hosed for the next 24 hours or 48 hours sometimes. But, and then eventually you just catch up your sleep uh, and sleep, you know, 15 hours or whatever. So that's kind of what I did every once in a while when I want to go out where there was a big party and I was still on the next day, I'd be like, okay, I'm going to go, but I'm going to, you know, just sleep. I just know that I'm going to be totally tired and a disaster the next day. This is usually when you're a first and second year resident. So you don't really have like real responsibility for patients. It's a bad idea to do that if you have actual, you know, you're caring for patients and actually have responsibility for them. So I don't recommend you do this, but I did and I was not feeling good the next morning. Let's put it this way. Okay, if you catch my drift. And we had a GSW to the belly at like 6 or 6.30 a.m. And I think it was like a Saturday or Sunday. So, you know, people go out drinking at night and then, and then on the way home, they get in fights and all that stuff. So this guy came in and he was drinking. And by the way, the um, rule is, is that before you get shot, you have to go to McDonald's and stuff your face with hamburger and french fries and a milkshake and obviously that's after you drank like a 40 or 5 of malt liquor so that way when you get shot it's not only like you know when you open everybody up it's not only blood it's blood that smells like alcohol and on top of that are fries and ground hamburger all mixed with the blood and sh and piss and everything that the bullets destroyed. So as you can imagine, when you're uh, not feeling well, you're feeling a tad under the weather, and you look at this disaster of halfway ground hamburger, halfway eaten french fries, uh, booze, blood, and vomit, essentially. And, oh yeah, and poop, because when the bullets holes go through, they go through everything. They go through the stomach, they go through the small bowel, they go through the colon, right? And this was like everywhere. And so I'm like holding retractors as the attending and the senior resident operate on this guy. And I'm like, I look at that and I wasn't feeling good. I, I, I had a moment, I had a moment. It was this much, I almost barfed. I almost barfed during surgery. So this is the number one thing you do not want to do when you're an intern in surgery for one of the first times is barf in your mask because it just, you know, it's, it looks bad. It's poor form. So that's the number one thing you want to avoid. This is my little story there. But anyway, so the first time you go into surgery, what you need to know is first, all the blue stuff is sterile. So you don't want to touch any of those things unless you're sterile. Okay. You want to keep your hands basically between your nipples and waist. So you don't want to drop your hands low. You don't want to bring them up high because if you do that, you're considered not sterile anymore. You've contaminated the field if you touch anything after that. So you want to keep your hands. That's why you see the surgeon go like this or go like this when they're not doing, when they're not operating. And then when you go to operate or when you come to the table, you just put your hands on the table uh, on the patient uh, under the drape. And that way you don't accidentally touch anything else uh, and you won't get them contaminated. So those are the two big ones. And then finally is if uh, you feel nauseous or you feel lightheaded, what you want to do is step away from the table. Seeing blood and guts and stuff like that all for the first time, sometimes people pass out. You don't want to fall forward because you will then contaminate the field with your face, right? So you fall forward into the patient, boom, you contaminate everything. And then you have another problem because then the surgeon has to say after the patient, after 
uh, you know, everything went fine, except we had this little problem with your surgery that we contaminated the shit out of everything because the med student passed out into the field. So if you feel lightheaded, you want to take a step back and then take a seat, actually sit down, find a, find a seat. Or even if you have to, if there's no seat, you want to sit down on the floor is fine because you also don't want to pass out backwards, hit your head and then become a trauma. <laughs> right? And then you have to get a CAT scan, you go to the ER, you get a CAT scan, and all of a sudden this shit happens, okay? So that's my quick tips on first time you go to the operating room, uh, you don't want to screw things up, so those will save your life, remember those things, alright? Hey, I hope you guys like this video, if you do, subscribe and like and share it with a friend maybe and comment below, that'd be awesome. Alright, thanks.